that is the power antenna my 95 accord working properly again here's the old one the cable that runs from the motor to the antenna had broken but keep watching i'll show you how i repaired it i'll also put a link down below leading you to this antenna to this part it's compatible with 92 different models of accords from years 90 through 97. 95 honda accord antenna mast radio antenna mast automatic mast is not working properly stuck in this position won't go up any higher won't go down is it the motor down beneath or is it just the antenna itself i suspect it's just the antenna because when i cut the radio on i can hear the motor coming on and if you hear your motor running more than likely you just have a bad mast when i cut the radio on you'll hear the motor running it's right behind this panel right here You can hear that the motor's trying to work, but the mast is defective in all likelihood. First thing to do is get the old mast out. At the base of the antenna, this ring unscrews this locking nut. You take a pair of needle nose pliers, carefully put the nose of the pliers down in those notches and be careful because you're putting pressure down. With this being rounded off like that, the pliers can slip off and if you're not careful, you could scratch your paint. There you go, that's completely loose. Now that I have it loose, I've got an eight foot one by two. I'm gonna use the push the button on the radio to turn it on so that when the motor then starts turning to raise the antenna, I'm gonna pull up on the antenna at the same time. Here's the new antenna. Here's the replacement part. I also sprayed some PB blaster down into the hole so that hopefully when I pull up on the antenna, the entire antenna and this metal sleeve are gonna come out. If I'm lucky, the whole thing will come out. The antenna and the sleeve. Spraying the PB blaster will hopefully make all of this come out at once. But we'll see. Here we go. All right. Well, that wasn't so hard. But I did not get I did not get the sleeve like I was talking about. So we're gonna have to work on getting that out. I've already been working on it a little bit. I've been working with a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm trying to pull this sleeve up. You can move this out of the way too if you want. This sleeve has got to come out but it's really in there so i'm going to spray some more pb blaster around this let it soak down in i got a plan b All right, plan b involves taking something sliding it down into the sleeve to keep the sleeve from collapsing because or being crushed if i was just to grab the sleeve with a pair of channel locks if i was to squeeze that right there then this would just crush so if you put something like that drill bit in there grab a hold of it with channel locks being careful not to grab the threads because we don't want to mess the threads up there. Now the, hey, there we go. There we go. Success. That's exactly what we wanted. Now we're in good shape. That's the piece we were looking for. That's what we needed to get out. Noise in the background is rain on my metal roof. Seems like every time I make a video, it starts raining. What I need to do now, based on the instructions that came with the new antenna, is compare the length of the teeth cable. They came out with the old section. The old piece is not as long as the cable that came with the new, which means there's still a piece down on my motor. So I'm gonna have to take the motor out and get that old piece of cable out. All right, I'm in the trunk. Motor's behind this panel right here on the left rear quarter panel. Three of these little tabs you have to take out so that you can bend this panel back far enough. You can get these out with a flathead screwdriver. One goes right here, one up here, and then I've got one more I'm gonna take off right there. Get a flathead screwdriver down underneath it and just kind of work it up. There you go. There. Got these little ribs along the side. That's what holds it in. Let's get this out of the way. This cover for the for the rear tail lights for the bulbs. Now I should be able to get this folded down. This panel is pretty stiff. It doesn't have much give in it. There's the motor assembly right here. I've got to get this 10 millimeter bolt loose. You don't have to take it out all the way. Just have to get it loose and then the bolt will slide down through that hole. There we go. Now the assembly's loose. There's your electrical connection right there. There's a clip on the back at the top. You squeeze that clip up at the top, that'll come out. There's a drain tube right there. Nothing holding it on, it just slides over this little post. It's been on there a while, so that ain't budging. All right, I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver and put it right there and try to pry it off that post. I'll put a flathead screwdriver right there at the end of the hose and kind of got it started. So now, there you go, hose is all the way off. But now the only thing left is where the antenna, the antenna just slides right off of that. And then you got everything off. 
and get the motor assembly out. All right, here's your motor assembly. Two screws right here. I already have one of them out. A little bit of thunder hanging on. So in here is where I should find I should find the last section of this. So once you get that cover off, this little piece right there comes out. And, and there it is. There's the rest of it. That's it right there. You got it all. So now all you do, put that back in there. Put your cover back on. You got the two screws back on. Now it's ready to be put back in the car. Reinstallation is reversal of removal, obviously. I've got some bleach in this bulb and I'm gonna put it right there into the drain tube. Squeeze that bleach in just to clean out any mildew that might be growing in the tube. When you're reinstalling, first thing, make sure you've got it up through the hole in the body of the car. Drain tube reattached, electrical connection reattached, antenna reattached. Now it's just a matter of putting that locking nut back through the hole, there you go. I'll get that nut tightened down. Here's the last one of those pins that hold that panel in place. Just put it in there, push it straight down. Put this cover back over the bulb connections. All right, motor's back in. Now let's try that new antenna. When in doubt, read the directions, right? One thing I should have done going by directions, I took the cover off the motor where we found this small piece still in there. They recommend putting wheel bearing grease, any kind of wheel bearing grease, which I have right here, in to that little ring. So I'm not going to take the motor back out and do that, but I am going to put some wheel bearing grease directly on, on the shaft and that should accomplish the same thing. So I'm just gonna put a little bit all the way along the shaft. Here we go with step six, which is to feed the new cable down into the hole. I've got the teeth facing towards the back of the car. Just gonna kind of lay this on its side. I have the radio turned on now. Because I'm working by myself, I'm gonna to have to take that same board, cut the radio off, which is then gonna kick the motor on, and it should pull this cable down in. So I'm gonna to have to turn the radio off, come back over here real quick, drop the board, and help to feed the cable down into the into the motor. And as soon as I hit that off button, we should see this cable start going down into the into the motor. And there we go. And it says not to worry if the motor doesn't grab it all the way the first time, which obviously it didn't. It did grab it a little bit, so that's good. I know I have the cable in the right direction. We'll cut it on again. Now cut it off. And that was farther. So we're getting there. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna slide this sleeve down in there. Now that I have the cable down in there that far. That should slide right down over, which it does. This is the new locking nut, which should be fine which it is, that's going on there. I'm gonna use the needle nose pliers to get it down tight. All right, I've got this nut about as tight as I'm gonna get it with the needle nose pliers. Just remember, when you're doing this, be careful, because you're putting pressure down. All it's gotta do is slip off and you can hit your paint and scratch it easy. So drape a towel around here or a rag or something. I was just really careful doing mine and I didn't scratch anything, but just be aware of that. All right, I'm gonna move the camera back. I'm gonna run the radio through some channels to make sure reception's good. And uh, then I'll cut it on and off a couple of times and make sure this goes all the way up and down that it gets a little better every time. I did cut it on and off a few more times until it reached the point where it would go all the way down. So now I'm gonna check the reception. Reception is good. Now, cut it off to see it go all the way down. All the way back up. What I'm talking about, that's how you fix a power antenna, a non-working power antenna. On a 95 Honda Accord, it should apply to uh, older Preludes, Odysseys, Civics, any older Honda, older Acuras, anything that has a, a power antenna. That's how I fix mine. Hope you get some good information from this. Good luck if you try it.